Question, do your browser tabs look like this? If so, you're not alone. A lot of us have browser overload where we have 50, 100, even more tabs open at the same time. And it's making us feel more stressed and overwhelmed and just less productive. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this overload, how to get your browser tabs under control with one simple hidden feature. They're called tab groups, and they're not just folders. They're a system that's gonna organize your tabs so that you only have what you need when you need it and that it's clear and easy to use. I'll make your browser go from this to this in less than five minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how they work for Chrome and Safari, the most popular browsers. You don't need any download, you need any plugin. It's all in the browsers already. You're gonna be one of those people when you're sitting somewhere and people see your browser open on your laptop, they're gonna come up to you and ask you how you did that because that's how organized you're gonna be. Okay, let's get into Safari. Okay, so let's take a look at tab groups in Safari. So here I have a few tabs open, as you can see. In your case, you might have hundreds more or just a similar amount. Regardless, this is just to show you an example. And let's create our first tab group to see how this works. So the easiest way to create one that I like a lot is to right click. You can do this on your Mac either with an option click or a right click if you have it set up in settings, but that's the easiest way. So you right click on any tab here and then we scroll down to move to tab group and you'll see that you have an option to create a new tab group because we don't have one yet. So this is one way to do it. The other way in case you don't have the right click or if you want to know both ways is you click on the sidebar over here. So we can create one by clicking on this right over here. And then we have the same thing we saw in our right click, which is to create a new tab group. So I'll do it in the right click, but this was just to show you how move to tab group, new tab group. And you'll see that when we're creating a new tab group, we get the sidebar automatically. So the sidebar is really in Safari where we view tab groups uh, next to each other. This will become clearer in a second. So let's create our new tab group. Let's give it a name. Let's call it work, for example. Okay, so now you'll notice that Google is in work and this is the tab we moved. So if I want to add Outlook to my work tab group, because it's part of what I use for work, I can right click it, move to tab group, and then select work. And you'll see that it moves away from this general sort of browser window into the work tab group. And now they're all over here and organized. So let's create a new tab group to see how it works when we split things up. So let's say I have Netflix open for entertainment and you know I'm shopping for an iPhone. So this is maybe personal. So let's click on, let's right click on the Apple tab, move to tab group, new tab group like we just did before. And we'll call this one over here, personal. Okay, and we'll see that the Apple tab is in there now. Let's go back to our general window tab. So this, the, th the thing on top here, these are the tabs that are not in tab groups. So that's a really cool thing about Safari is that we can have tabs and tab groups, but we don't have to put everything in there. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm on the run, I'm opening something very quickly in like Wikipedia, let's say, right? And I don't want to group it right away. So your windows in Safari will still have just a general tabs, but you can categorize them here and that's the nice way to split them. So let's move Netflix to our personal one again to show you how this works. Right click, move to tab group, personal. And there you go. Now, if you go to personal, you'll notice that it's right there. Uh, and you can also open new tabs within your tab groups. They'll automatically be in it. So it's, it's in here automatically. You can have the same tab open in different tab groups. So you see Google here is in both. One tip, if you want to really structure your life and reduce the amount of tabs just overall, is if you have a situation like me where you use something for personal and for work or across your tab groups, like the calendar, instead of having it open in both, so here I have Google, you can close it in these and then just keep it open in your general window tab. So here, like whenever I want to see my calendar, I'm doing personal stuff or I'm doing work. I just click back here and it's right there. So if you want to delete personal, like I'm done with everything, just make sure you don't want to lose your tabs, like make sure you're, you're really done. Then you just right click over here or click on the three dots here. It's the same as a right click. And then you just go delete and then you'll get a sort of confirmation message because it's going to delete all the tabs in it. You click delete and the the tab group is gone. So rename, you just double click on the name here and then renamed. Uh, you can click enter to, to confirm the rename and 
you can also copy the link to the tab group and this is super interesting um, and you can share this link afterwards. And what's really powerful about this tab group system in Safari is that it works across all your devices. So I'll give you an example. I have an iPhone and a MacBook Pro and on my MacBook Pro, I have all these tab groups that I just showed you. And sometimes, for example, when I go to the library, I have my phone with me, not my laptop. And I wanna see what I did in the tabs that are in my lab library tab group. And so what I do is I open Safari on my phone and you'll see that all the tab groups that are on my laptop, they're on my phone too, and they're synced. So for example, if I open a new tab on my phone in the tab group for library, well then when I go home and use my MacBook Pro, that tab will be there in that tab group in Safari. And so it really, it syncs, which is really nice. If you wanna take this to the next level, you can even add emojis to theme and group your tab groups together. So think of it like having a folder with different files and then a main folder with those folders inside it. For example, if you have 50 tabs that belong to one tab group like studying, it might be good to split them by course. So you have all your tab groups for each course and you just have that one emoji to visually be like, okay, it is time to study now. And so I'm focusing on this emoji and visually just these tab groups. Okay, welcome to the Chrome tutorial. Let's get right into it. So here's how you manage and create tab groups in Chrome. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a new tab group and add tabs within it. And then we're going to get into some other features. So let's say, for example, Netflix is part of my personal life because it's for entertainment. And so is YouTube. So I want to add these two related tabs into a group for personal. The main way to do this is to right click on the tab. Uh, on Mac, this can also be option or control click. It depends on your settings. And then you go to add to new tab group. This is what will allow you to create a new tab group. As you can see, this little window pops up where we can name the tab group and sort of customize it. So let's call this one personal here. And what's really nice is you can choose a color to make it visually stand out. Uh, for example, for when I was a student, I used to have my university color as the color of my tab group for that. So just do whatever works best for you. You can even add emojis within the name of the tab group if that speaks to you. All right, so now you can see that our tab is has this like red outline to it and it's part of the personal tab group. Now let's take a look at how to add tabs to an existing tab group. So we want to add YouTube to this. There's two ways to do it. The first way is you click and you drag the tab into the red area and you'll see it becomes a part of it. And so now both of them are part of this personal tab group. The other way, so let's take it out of it by pulling it out like this. The other way to add it to it is to right click this one, go to add tab group and then choose personal and then it becomes a part of it. So that's that's really how to do it. To remove it, it's either you drag it out like we just did, or let's put it back in, right click and remove from group. And then it becomes just part of your window in general. Now let's take a look at how to work with these because I know, you know, once you have a bunch of them, let's click, let's create a new one here. Let's add to group, new group. Let's call this one work, for example, and let's add this one. You'll see that, you know, the tabs are still there, right? So what's the point? Well, you can collapse tab groups and that's where it becomes really powerful. So to collapse or close a tab group, you just click on the title and boom, all your personal tabs, all of them are now just hidden behind this. And when I'm doing work, I can focus on all my work tabs. But when it's time to go back to personal life, I just click on personal to open up the tabs of personal and I click on work here and it'll collapse all of them so I can focus on what's happening. One recommendation I have for you is that if there's a tab that you use often, so for example, for me, I use Google a lot because my calendar is in Google. So I also have a calendar tab that I need to access all the time. What I recommend you do is you keep these outside of your tab groups so that, you know, if you're doing personal stuff, you can just click there and it's right there, right? But if you're doing work stuff, well, same thing. I'm doing my work stuff in my work tabs, but I can access the calendar at all times because it's to the left. You can also pin tabs, which you can see I did for three tabs over here. To pin a tab, you just right click on it, like the Google one here, and you click on pin. And it takes this sort of smaller area of your window, which is really convenient for the calendar, for example. So again, you can access it all times, whether you're doing personal or work stuff, you just click on it and it's right there. Okay, now you have a really good understanding of how this works. It's pretty simple as you saw. Uh, to delete a tab group, you just right click on the name over here and then you can click delete. And you can also uh, right click on the tab group to move the tab group to a new window. So in Chrome, tab groups are part of windows. And so you can have, for example, uh, a work window with all your work projects. So you can, you know, this could be like project one and this could be project two, right? And so if one project, uh, you know, is done, you can just delete the tab group. But if you want to focus on one project 
more in depth and you don't want to be distracted even by the other ones next to it, you just right click it and move it to a new window. And then a new window will open up with all the tabs in this tab group. And what's really nice about tab groups in Chrome is that they follow you across all your devices where you have Chrome installed and you're signed in with your Google account. So for example, if you're on your phone and you have a library tab group with your library system and different books you were looking to read and you're researching them on your laptop, well, if you have Chrome on your phone, when you're at the library or at the bookstore, you can pull up those same tabs tabs in that tab group and they're synced. So if you discover something new in the library and you create a tab in that tab group, when you get back home and you open it on your laptop, it'll be there. And so that's a really cool feature. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I don't know about you, but I can never go back to the way it was with those 50, 100 tabs open at a time. This has really been game changing for me. I saved hundreds of hours, I think at least, just context switching and always being distracted by this many tabs. Please let me know in the comments if this helped you, how many tabs did you have before this and uh, what groups have been really helpful for you. And please share it with a friend. I'm sure we all know someone that has these 50, 100 tabs open. I know I sent it to quite a few people um, and the feedback I've been getting is great. So. Thank you for watching and have a great one.